Jeff Ranieri joining us now. Jeff, I was surprised. 93% of the uh, of the snow uh, snowpack, and we got some more coming in. Yeah, you know, we really do, and, and that's really important due to the fact that the Sierra did get hit with some storm systems that didn't really bring us much here across the Bay Area a few different times. So uh, that definitely does help us at least out with that, uh, you know, water storage that we need when we get that runoff in the spring. And uh, we could be in for in about another one to three feet as we head through the next seven days. So let's bring you to that microclimate forecast right now. And we did have a few spotty showers if you were out in the past couple of hours, maybe heading to the grocery store. Uh, you know, it wasn't anything really that big, but enough to get the roadway slick. And you can see on Storm Ranger right now, we are tracking some of that light to moderate rainfall. We'll zoom in and get a closer look at this right now. And we do have that rain over Richmond, also Lafayette and Oakland. This is all moving off towards the south and also the east. This would continue that wet weather over Lafayette through 1142 San Ramon until just after midnight. More off to the south, also picking up just a little bit here with some light showers over San Francisco and this is moving off towards the south and the east as well. So we'll see some showers moving into Hayward just after midnight. Now this isn't going to hold on very long. I think by two o'clock in the morning, the bulk of it's pushing down towards San Jose and Gilroy. So that'll be your best bet of some wet weather. And you can see that snow over the Sierra and this will really start to kick out of here by six o'clock in the morning. But do notice Right down towards the South Bay, we are looking at the possibility here of a little bit of fog for tomorrow morning, at least on the early side. And then after that, we clear out, we get our sunshine. So temperatures as we start off will be on the chilly side, down to 39 for the South Bay, also 36 in the Tri-Valley. We'll see that increasing sunshine with 38 here for the East Bay, San Francisco 42, and the North Bay at 37. Temps tomorrow, my forecast, pretty similar no matter where you're headed. You can see it right here, 59 in Morgan. Hill right over to Livermore 58 Martinez 61 Santa Rosa 60 and over to Half Moon Bay 57 so clearing skies and yes tomorrow is New Year's Eve and we all know we have these stay at home restrictions it's gonna be a lot different no fireworks but look if you want to go in your backyard your front yard make a little noise that 2020 is arriving tomorrow night. Make sure to have your jacket if you're with your immediate family in your household. We'll be down to 44 there at midnight. On my extended forecast, I want you to notice this weekend our heavier rain chances continue to get pushed back. So just some spotty chances this weekend. I think the better bet of consistent rain would come on Monday and Wednesday. My five day totals, big range here, half inch to two inches. We're looking at more of a half inch in the rain shadowed valleys and two inches for the mountains uh, right up into the North Bay. We definitely will have the possibility as well for these totals to increase. We just need to get closer to this happening so we can be more certain on those totals. And I'll have more updates on that in the days ahead. Uh, Terry and Anusha, I am so ready for 2021. That's probably the, the biggest <laughs> understatement. And I'm, I'm sure everybody is, is with me on that. I, I think everybody's saying yes, Jeff. Preach. Yeah, you got that right. Yeah. We sure are, Jeff. That's right. Yes.